when I first did my metal and planar fingernails, I just had them as normal nails and they cauterized my original nail and they put in the implants. So I upgraded to the vampire metal and planted fingernails look. And I'm not sure if it's a good idea yet because it's going to be hard to do a lot of life things like eat, wipe my butt, and a bunch of other stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Nathan James, first artist ever, baby. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? So that young man we just heard from, Nathan James, said of the three-inch metal spikes coming out of his fingertips, and I quote, I'm not sure if it's a good idea yet. Well, I'd be willing to bet that Mr. James found out very quickly that it was a terrible idea, and I hope for his sake it's not too hard to take those things off. I mean, he gave us a couple fairly compelling reasons why it was a bad idea. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Once again, I have a fairly quick and crazy clown world update for you guys today. And with very little time to waste, let's get into it. Now, now if you place your attention on the screen for a moment, here we have a biological man who grew his hair out, threw on some eyeshadow and a frilly top, identifies now as a trans woman, calls himself a lesbian, and uses the ladies' restroom. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> now, in yesterday's video, I briefly touched on a pretty serious disorder known as Trump Derangement Syndrome, or TDS. Now, it's no secret that Hollywood actor Michael Rappaport suffers from a severe case of TDS. So let's see what he has to say since the indictments have been handed down. Roll it. President, he's still my president. He's still my president. Okay, I don't care. I don't care that he has 91 charges against him. He's, he's still my president. You f***ing dummies, you. He's not your f he's not the president and he's not your president. And if he's your president, you need help, you sick fucks. He lost. And this is the reason why he's in the predicament, the situation that he's in now. Because he couldn't accept losing. He's a fucking sore fucking loser. They teach you this when you're very young. Fred, his fucking father, didn't teach him this. Okay? Because he was too busy organizing KK rallies. Okay? It's like a fucking a dog. Uh, the dog is in the house. You try this, you try that, you try this, you try that. At a certain point, you gotta take that fucking, that dog's nose as cute as he is and stick his nose in the shit. Fred Trump didn't do that. He's not your fucking president. Okay? He fucking lost. Now he's on Rico charges. Racketeering charges like a common fucking criminal. Good. You fucking dumb dumbs, you. This guy's a serious asshole. And speaking of TDS, real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're enjoying the videos, you like the content, and you want to help support the channel, grabbing one of these t-shirts is a great way to do it. And here it is, the most famous mugshot in the history of mugshots, the Revenge Tour 2024 t-shirt. Now, if you want to grab a piece of history, there will be a link to the t-shirt in the description box below. And I also have some other very cool designs you can check out as well. In the end, they're not coming after me. They're coming after you, and I'm just standing in their way. All right, next up. So this young lady actually claims that she is not a lady, but a they -dy. A they -dy. Get it? Me either. Roll it. Two things to know. I'm non-binary. I go by they, them. And I work in a store that is pretty much all women. So whenever they're like addressing us or when they're talking, they're always like, hey, ladies. So I've taken it upon myself as someone that is non-binary to use this uh, to not listen. And whenever anyone addresses a group as ladies, I am not included. So when they say, hey, ladies, let's like stop talking or hey, ladies, let's like get to work. I will do none of it because you're not talking to me. You're not talking to me. You're not talking to me, so. I will not listen to anything that is said when it is started with, hey, ladies. I'm a lady, not a lady, a lady. You're a 
ugly f All right, well, apparently there is some sort of infighting going on amongst the Rainbow Coalition. It would appear that the L, the G, and the B are trying to separate themselves from the T. Now, before I read the comment, I just want to mention what this person's pronouns are. It, pup, Z, kit, and fay. What are we making up words now? The comment says, I guess you haven't heard of L, G, B, then it's got the scissor emoji, and then the letter T. There are many gay and lesbian people who don't buy into gender ideology. Roll it. The transphobic gay and lesbian people are a massive f***ing minority, and none of them are part of the LGBT community. They're off on their own little island, and literally the entire LGBT community f***ing hates them, so... Yeah. In your circle, I'm sure you got all kinds of uh, gays and uh, trans whatevers of all stripes, but not where I come from. All right, real quick, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to let this loop on the screen because, well, I had to see it, so now you guys do too. You're welcome. Anyway, today's video is being brought to us by the YouTube channel Kartoshka Dreams. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. I really, really appreciate the kind words and support. Now, Kartoshka Dreams has a great YouTube channel with meditation and relaxation music. And that's actually how I'm able to sift through this sewage known as TikTok and Twitter without losing my mind is channels like that. So if you want to check them out after this video, I will put a link in the description box below, and I'm sure they would greatly appreciate some support over there. Also, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below. And I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. All right, we've seen enough of this. Get it off the screen now, please. Oof. That is weird. Just a big bulge in your pants. <laughs> All right, this next one is a very quick clip. It's only seven seconds long, but it shows you where we're at as a society, and it's not good. Roll it. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't even believe that. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, being crazy meant something. Nowadays, everybody's crazy. When Charlie Manson starts to make sense, you know we're in trouble. Anyway, next up, so here we have a gay man who is actually speaking for straight men, so obviously everything he says here is 100% wrong, so I'm not really sure what the point of this is, but roll it. The reason straight men say being gay is a choice is because they are sexually attracted to men and they choose not to act on it because it is natural for all men to be sexually attracted to each other. The difference is gay men are not sexually attracted to women, period. Hmm. You know, it's amazing. You are 100% wrong. I mean, nothing you've said has been right. All right, this next one kind of goes off the rails here a little bit, but what makes it that much stranger is a person's makeup, like, uh, <sighs> whatever. Roll the film, please. I need help because I made the mistake of buying my parents and younger sibling and my girlfriend all expensive gifts for Christmas. And three out of those four people want to know where the money came from. How on earth am I supposed to tell them that I sell that I saw sheenus on the internet without them going ballistic. How do I, how do I ignore? <laughs> Are you out of your f***ing mind? All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up on this one because I've had all I can stand and I can't stand anymore. And I'm fairly certain you guys can't stand anymore either. Now, this clip is a couple of years old, but what this lady says is very telling. She talks about if you haven't worn a mask in a week, you're not queer. What? It just goes to show you that this whole thing is political with the masks, this whole movement she's talking about. Very bizarre. Anyway, things are clearly getting crazy out there, guys, so please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. I love you guys. Peace. Roll it. I will no longer call a person queer if I don't see them 
participating in queer politic. You're gay, sure, you're gay. That is not the same as queer. If you haven't put a mask on in a week, not queer. You're just not queer, you're not. Queerness is supposed to be radical. It's supposed to be about supporting each other, helping each other, and making sure that we like lift up from the most vulnerable of our community. A lot of you gays are not acting like queers right now, so I'm not gonna call you queer. That's the dumbest thing you could have said. What are you, an idiot? I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international suffer to pressure. True and international suffer to pressure. True and international suffer to pressure. Do do caca poo poo. Sing like I'm a hobby pee.